Oh, here we go. Hey, look. Got a few things on my minds. I know I only have one mind. I said minds, but you know, sometimes. Look. First of all, uh, uh, the uh, the Tulsa Trumpy, whatever. The, what, you know, you know the Donald, the Dumpf, right? He had this thing, right? And I knew it was going to be a lot of people, but what I didn't anticipate, right? Just a second. Let me pull my, uh, coming to the end of my black cherry juice. Just black cherries. Only black cherries in here. Got to put black in your body somehow. I'm not going to say anything else on that. Uh, but here's what happened that was amazing. The young people, remember, this is the, the world is in upheaval, right? Now, the young people got this thing that's an app called TikTok or whatever, and they, they sort of, as I said, say, do stupid things and nobody paying attention to them, right? And, of course, the big companies, the Googles or whatever, whoever, I don't know who owns it, whatever it is, they, 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 they're not paying attention to it, so they can't censor it yet. They can't try to put a little spin on it for, for the doings of their, you know, their, their know, whoever makes them think they're rich, whatever it is. What? <laughs> but the young people did. I only heard this. It's a rumor, right? I don't know if it's true yet, right? But... They went to their little TikTok, and for the Trump rally, they ordered all these tickets. So Trump is thinking that, you know, Trump, Trump, you know who, the Trump, the Trump guy, the Trump, okay? Well, the Trump thought that he was going to have all these people. Well, it was much less than he thought. In fact, the place didn't look like, like the, look, if the president shows up someplace, you know, then it's supposed to be crowded. Well, anyway, here's what I'm trying to say. They did what they were supposed to do. Nobody told them what to do. They got on their own. They wasn't listened to. You know, they didn't take all these all these celebrities that are trying to push their brand. I'm sorry, I, I go off all the time. Brands, come on now. You want to push your brand? I was down with Penta. I got to keep my brand out there. What's a brand? A, for you people who are enslaved, you know, you ADOS, no, you know, American descendants of chattel slavery, you know, North American descendants of chattel slavery, you know what a brand is, right? Get a brand, right? Brand. But these people, they're, they're so stupid, right? They, they take the brand, they brand their brains, they're branding their brains, they brand their ears, can't hear what's going on, they brand their eyes, they can't see, they brand their nose, they can't see the talk. You understand what I'm saying? So this is why I come down on people like, I'm going to name him again. I, don't, I have this weird thing about Whoopi Goldberg. I have no, I know why, because I know she was chosen by them white boys and she keeps on doing the white people's bidding. When she said, oh, don't do this. Don't do that. I'm a grandma. You shouldn't do. I said, stand down. I said it before and I'm going to say it again. You do whatever you want to do, but ain't nobody listening to you. Young people are supposed to be listening to themselves. Look, let me put it this way. I have a specialty. Mike score audio drama. Now, part of the trip I was supposed to be here and I got stuck, right, was um, I want to do this project um, uh, that basically I'm recording people and we're, and we're hooking them into ATOS. It's, it's, don't worry about it. It's called 100 Million Black Voices and Richard Wright. No, don't worry about that part. Right? That's not supposed to be. So I can't do that. And I can't really do audio drama the way I do. So I have to have taken to writing. You know, well, I haven't really. I'll, I'll be writing. You know, I don't know what I'll be writing. I'll be writing something, right? But also, you know, I like. You know, going to like the certain sites that nobody goes to, whatever have you. And I write, I type something in, really intelligent. Yeah, I think it's intelligent. And then that's what I'm doing, because that's what you know, that's, that's, I'm an old man. I can't be out there in the streets, but maybe I can. Because here's what my audio drama mind thinks. Come on, come close. Here's what my audio drama mind thinks. Because remember, I come from theater and radio. Now, if I was to say, for instance, I have this thing in my head where a protest goes, right? Now, here's how it's informed. In South Africa, you know, the, the, the bad old days of apartheid, by the way, everybody thinks, everybody says apartheid, apartheid, you know, South Africa, apartheid. But people don't realize that South Africa never won their freedom. <gasps> what? Brother, what you saying? We, we was there. You know, they got their freedom. No, they didn't. It's like an armistice, like 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 World War One, like, like the Korean War. It's an armistice. You know, they stood down. You understand what I'm saying? What did the powers that be and these folks, the leadership, listen to? What they did was they took the the, the banking and the, and and the um, 
uh, and whatever their banking system, the finance, and they and England controls that, right? And as far as the land and whatever have you, you know, the Boers, you know, the, the Afrikaans, you know, they control that. They gave, they gave the black people. Oh, we give you the social stuff. Oh, the political stuff, you know, and uh, and uh, you know, you all can have a good time, right? Hey, it was clear. The same thing happened in the States. They gave you the political, didn't give you the financial, the economics. They didn't give you, you see, the land, da, 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 right? And look where we are now. Upheaval because it was inequitable. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, back, back to the thing. So, but one of the things about the apartheid that I found out, I think I saw it in a, in a, in a I think I saw it in a documentary, whatever, have it. but the, the police, the, the, the forces, the, the state force, whatever they were, you know, they, they, they would almost like, uh, like say there was a big hill and they would be on this side waiting for, you know, whatever for these people to come. And they would hear this, you know, singing and this marching and would actually put the fear of whatever into them. And they were shaking, you know, and then these waves of people would come. So here's my idea. Say, for instance, you know, you have you have your police cordon line or whatever it is. They're defending, I don't know what they're defending, somebody's big building or something like that. You have all the people, right? Now, first what you do is you have the old people, like me, up front, right? No, far away. Like, like they may be, say, 300 feet back. So the, the, everybody could see them. They have a whole mass of just old people, right? All of a sudden, some holes open up, right? And you have these young kids coming through. And they grab an old person's hand, and they one by one they walk up to the line and just circle around and just and and, and you know and go to the back, right? Then and, and after that group, because it's going to take a while. After that group comes, then you have the um, then you have the um, uh, let's say you know the the the, the, the forty five to whatever year old, so the over forty five under fifty fives come in. Then they come, you know. And they come and they try to be reasoning, but da, 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 and they melt away. Right. Then you have the warriors. You know. You say, what about the women? They have to. They got. This is my scenario. I don't know how. And then the women. I don't know what. You know. Maybe they back there. You know, making sure they're back. First aid. Every all the women. Not all the women. You know. But a lot of the women. They're doing the first aid. Or whatever. You say, brother, you can't. Do that. Okay, I understand. This is my brain. Okay, you women, you figure out some other strategy. Okay. And then they all come, and that's how you do this demonstration. It's not clear to you now because it's just an idea. You know, if I was to if I was to make a cartoon or, or film, I don't do film, but you have an idea that this this is what I would do. But here's the here's the thing that I realize, right? Because people keep on trying to take over, you know, always trying to take over what black people do. It's all right. A prime example is this month here, June. I know June as Black Music Month. Well, now it's, well, the S has always been confined. Okay, fine. So uh, they, you know, uh, some people, and everybody wants to, you know, some, to, to, they have some month. Somebody else has this, try to claim this month out, the branding or whatever it is, you know. In fact, the last last year, not now, but last year, this, the, this month, they were so uh, jacked up that you have all these big brands, you know, were supporting this month for their purposes, right? Okay, but look, we're sitting on a purple chair because remember, this is still for me. This is still, you know, Prince Month, right? Here's what I'm thinking: people stole Black Music Month, but single-handedly, one master musician, Prince Rogers Nelson, is taking back that month. And if you look at his catalog, he has all kinds of black music, plays tribute to all kinds of, you know what I mean, from Ohio plays, and of course, you know, Sly and all the rest of that stuff, and Marvin, you know, he plays a tribute to all those, you know, James, all that stuff. So you can actually just listen to Prince all month and get all of the variations of black music, jazz, everything, you know? Even country. I found this up from Cornell West. I didn't know this. But but Prince originally wrote Purple Rain as a country tune. You know, country. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. In fact, there's some country. There's some group, uh, some, something with Creek in it. They're really, they're really good. They did, the, hey, it was really, really nice, right? But that's not what we're talking about right now. Let me, let me, let me go up. 
But one thing about Prince too, what, what Cornell said, and this is this is true for a whole lot of things. He said he was a he never saw Prince sleep, but he, he was traveling around Prince all the time, taking a plane here, Mario, or whatever. Like you know, and in one like in one arm he'd have arm, he'd have you know his uh um, his a uh, Jehovah Witness, you know some Bible, whatever. Like in the other arm he'd have text, like you know we have writing, whatever. Have. In the other arm he'd have books like John Henry Clark. Think about that. As far as I know, this is my what I've observed. Comedians, especially, and uh, uh, others, you know, they always are reading. They always are reading. You know, I saw Trevor Noah. Uh, he had, uh, I saw him, uh, he had a, um, a, a James Baldwin piece. So I trust readers. You know, uh, Michael Moore was on this uh, on this podcast with uh, Trisha Rose and um, and Cornel West. It's called Tightrope or something like that. And Michael Moore says something very. He says that the police. He said, first thing I would do, ask some questions. What's the last three books you've read? Think about that. What's the last three books you've read? Now, every time I go to somebody's house, the first thing I do, I look at, you know, you look at their, everybody looks at their record collection. I look and see what books they have in their thing, right? So that's the key, right? If the person is not reading, find out what they're reading. If Jim Clyburn is, is reading, I don't know what that boy is reading, you know, how to be a good capitalist, how to be a good toady. Right? Then you know where you're coming from, from what he'd been reading. You see what I'm saying? If you even if you're a politician, you ain't even read the bill, <laughs> and the bill is like 300 pages long. That's a book. <laughs> okay, I'll count that as a book. You see them going at? So I'm saying that everybody needs to do what they're supposed to do in their thing. Do not criticize or point out to some other group and tell them what they're supposed to be doing. You know, and don't jump. Well, you can jump out in front of a movement if you want, but guess what? We strong. ADOS, American descendants of chattel slavery are very strong. You ain't defeated us yet. Oh yeah, you ain't. We just keep on coming. Or well, as they as 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 they, it was well said in the latest Spike Lee joint, right? The five bloods. We don't die. We multiply. That's it. From me. T. From the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, back here, and a lovely day. It's a lovely day. Lovely day, lovely day.